Hey all, Trevor here with Red Leaf, and today we're going to be reviewing the Zombie Kush Cured Resin from the folks over at Pure Vita Legacy. I'm really excited to break down exactly what I think of this cured resin in comparison to that Pineapple Express live resin that we were dabbing on this past Monday. I really enjoyed that experience, so I have high hopes that this Zombie Kush is going to be just as impressive. Welcome back everyone, and as I said in the intro today, we're going to be dabbing on the Zombie Kush Cured Resin from the folks over at Pure Vita. This is going to be their Jumbo Jar, and that is a 1.2 gram jar that is released to the market, and the reason that they're able to add that little bit of extra concentrate to this jar, but not exceed into that two, three, seven gram baller jar size is because there's a regulatory cap on a thousand milligrams per gram in a package of concentrate so with that being said that uh, overall dosage is going to uh, keep these packages to the 1.2 gram size for that thousand milligram total package limit not thousand milligrams per gram it's a thousand milligrams of thc in the package there are some vaporizers that have that 0.2 additional um, distillate in it or some of the other ones that are even a two gram size and that's because they're a little bit lower on the thc and they're able to increase the volume of the actual concentrate your vaporizing so that's one cool thing with these jumbo jars is they use that additional 0.2 of a gram to get it to that max amount of cannabis concentrate they can put in these jars so that being said let's cover the information on this bag and then get right into our one hitter dab review today so this is the zombie kush cured resin jumbo jar from pure vita it came in with a thc total of 79.1 percent a cbd total of 0.1 percent and the net weight is 1.2 grams the terpenes are at 6.2 percent and this was packaged on the 20th of july 2023 the herbage scale intro is going to slide in here right now we're going to uh go ahead crack open this bag and see exactly what the aroma is like on this before we crack the jar and uh, get our puffco loaded up for the first dab. Unlike the Pineapple Express, this doesn't have anything super potent in the bag for the aroma, but I will make note the color on this cured resin is still really light. And it's a very impressive looking concentrate so far. And the fact that I've had this sitting in the fridge for the uh, last couple of weeks definitely did it some benefit because mm, there's a little bit of an aroma coming off of it, but not much. So I'm hoping that I was able to preserve the terpenes with that. And you can see the amount of uh, like spillage or creep onto the lid is minimal so it's uh pretty nice to have that small amount of uh concentrate creep out onto this top lid it's barely even noticeable when i take the tool to scrape it off so that's a pretty good outcome that way then when we go and scoop it it's really saucy and oily Definitely not something that I'm going to uh, use in my portable dab dabbers, except for the Puffco. Like I wouldn't use it in my Shatterizer or I wouldn't use it in my uh, um, new Premium 5 Torch. But with that being said, let's fire up this Puffco and see exactly what this has to offer on here. So with that being said, Let's uh, give this a second because we should be close on here. Should be close. 
because this does not take that long. I can start to see the vapor coming out of the top of the carb cap. Let's go and enjoy this first dab. Welcome back everyone. That Puffco dab is going to earn itself a 7 out of a 10. The overall experience is quite nice, but the flavor was a little bit um, lighter than what I would have uh, honestly preferred. I got a little bit of like a earthy and creamy rich experience, but it wasn't something that was so explosive and present that uh, I could really pick it out. It took me... A little bit of an effort to kind of pull that offering out of there now we're gonna go ahead and heat up our banger with this concentrate in the uh, bottom of it I'm curious to see what this cold start has to offer our cheech rig is full of water too so we should get a little bit of a unique experience with this Let's go ahead and dive into this cured resin dab. Cheers. I think the sevens are going to be a consistency across this because the flavor I'm getting here isn't anything super impressive. It's definitely more potent than what it was through the Puffco, but it's not anything super extreme. But, like my bong rips, I do find a variance between cold and warm water. So, <coughs> let's switch that out and <coughs> see what <coughs> factor <coughs> that plays. Hey all, let's go ahead and take this cool down dab with a uh, nice and fresh cheech rig and some warm water. I'm excited to see how this is going to compare to that cool water experience that we've had. Ooh, I'm going to need to grab more of that concentrate because I lost the majority of it. Cheers. I'm gonna go seven out of a 10 as well. Really nice experience. Wow, super nasally effect. Very similar to what I described with the Pineapple Express in the live stream that I did, and I'll tag that right now so that you can check that out if you want to, but really heavily acidic nasally experience coming off of this. And it's not <coughs> like you get with <coughs> distillate, and that kind of terpene infusion from non-cannabis derived, but it's more of that acidic burn you get when there's <coughs> lemon juice or onions or stuff like that. That's <coughs> making your eyes water. But I'm gonna die. We'll be back with the high temp app. <coughs> Cheers. We've got our high temp banger ready to go. We're gonna slide this in there. We were able to rescue that dab that fell on my pants. Rich experience here. A little bit more woody, a little bit more overall humid in comparison to any of the other ones, but nothing super powerful on the flavor. Like it's not a negative experience, it's just not anything that is noteworthy on it. So for me, I'll give that one a seven as well. <clears throat> and the biggest thing is, is that I'm comparing this into that Pineapple Express Live Resin, which is the best experience that I've had from the Pineapple Express Genetic everywhere. Where this, I'm just finding not even a hint of a, 
of a flavor just really really mild and light creamy and kind of earthy complex um, combination of flavors but it's nothing super noteworthy or anything that's really making me want to double back and hit a dab a second time to get that double of flavor that I had from the first dab. I'm not shitting on this but I just haven't come across any of the methods of dabbing that I usually usually use that has blown me away. The high I will give a 9 out of a 10. It is super um, effective and a really nice experience and that is going to be my major talking point from this where the pineapple express is flavor the zombie kush is effect i have a nice cerebral dominated high it sits right behind my eyes it's got a good relaxing and easing effect i would definitely recommend this for people who are needing that kind of um quieting of the mind if the brain gets running and it gets ahead of them and they kind of have too many thoughts going at once and it can be a little overwhelming, that type of settling down and calming experience is exactly what I feel with here. I'm down to a single thought at a time and I can really just enjoy the moment. Great option for that. For getting into a movie, TV shows, just sitting around and enjoying a conversation, you just kind of taper your dose for what your end goal is. If you're gonna be heavily involved in the conversation, light effect just to give you that body relaxation and that kind of cerebral focus on what you're doing. If you wanna go and drift off into the movies, two or three fat dabs will set you up quite nicely. But that being said, we're gonna wrap this one up. I uh, quickly need to do the math to see what this is gonna score and uh, I feel a cough attack coming so We'll get those settled, and I'll be back with you all in just a second. Quick break, quick cough attack. We're back. 37 out of 50 is what this is going to score. It is three points shy of that beautiful herbage, and the lack of flavor is what keeps it from that. But honestly, this is still going to be a product that I'll recommend based off of the effects and not so much the experience. And honestly, when it comes to concentrates, the fact that this company has something for the flavor seekers and then it has something for the effect seekers. I'm really impressed. And honestly, I'm very excited to try anything else that they have coming out for release. Personally, um, this is gonna be one of my more enjoyable and kind of favorite products to consume when I'm needing to do some work and actually be still effective after I dab and smoke. Where that Pineapple Express, that's just a great kind of flavor topper to whatever I'm diving into. And if I need that little bit of kind of um, focus on the, the ability to focus on a singular task, but have that little bit of energetic boost that the Pineapple Express offers, having a dab of that and a dab of this is going to be a great one two combo for me for when I really need to get a lot of work done so that's something I'm gonna play with and actually try a little later today so with that being said I'm very impressed with the pure Vita legacy not everything that scores great is a personal favorite of mine and not everything that scores under a beautiful herbage is something that I forget about quickly it's surprisingly the products that sit between the upper echelons of the herbage scale and the kind of just shy of hitting the herbage scale, but it has one or two aspects that really stand out. Those tend to be the products that I really enjoy. And bang for your buck and overall availability does change my opinion on these products but for me pure vita legacy i've been impressed with these last two concentrates we've dabbed for now curious to hear what you have to say let me know down in the comments because that is one of the two ways that you can help boost this video into the algorithm the next way that you can do and it's really easy click that like button down below and absolutely share this video out if there's anybody that you think will benefit from this knowledge or product review. 
that being said my end card is going to slide in here you want to hover over the logo click that bell notification after you subscribe so you can get notified anytime one of my videos go live or we hop on for a live stream and if you're on your phone make sure you have the all notifications section rang in your settings so that you can get notified anytime one of these videos go live on your mobile device down below we have two videos for you one's the most recommended the other one's the most recently uploaded please click on either of those or anything else that i have to offer and ready to leave but for now cheers y'all i will see you in the next one